Let's assemble the bassoon. Make sure when you set your case down that it's right side up. You can tell that because the latches will flip up and the handle will be on the lower side of the case. So the first piece that you want to take out is called the bell. It has the least amount of keys and you're going to hold it in your left hand with your thumb on the bell key. Uh, the next piece that you're going to take out is called the long joint and it's the longest joint. So thank goodness it's named appropriately. And the bell only fits on one side. You can see that this side is the right size for the bell. This, size is way, this side is way too small. Um, I'm going to hold on to as much of the wood and not the keys as possible. And the bell goes on top and make sure that these bridge keys line up. You have to put your thumb on here, otherwise the bridge keys will hit and then they can get bent. You don't want the instrument to be dysfunctional. So put this assembly across your lap. The next piece you're going to pick up is called the boot and it's the biggest around and has metal caps on both ends. It looks like this and it actually has keys on both sides. If you look at the holes, there's a big size and a little size. We're about to use the little size. The last long piece of the instrument is called the wing joint. And it looks like this. It actually has a carved out spot in the wood that's angled so that it can fit against the long joint. Um, you're going to put the cork side of this into the small hole. And again, I'm holding on on mostly wood and avoiding the keys so I don't bend any of them. There's a lot of long rods that can get bent. I know it's in the right place when I have a bridge key aligned right here and that carved out place matches the curve of the larger hole in the boot. Now I'm going to take the bell and long joint assembly and insert the cork end in next to the wing joint. You'll know that it's lined up correctly when there's not any keys going against this. And you may have a lock that locks the two joints together. We'll give you a close up of that one. Um, this instrument doesn't have it. But on the back, all of these keys need to be next to each other. These are all thumb keys. There's 13 in total on the bassoon. Now your instrument's almost together. This curved piece of metal is called the vocal, and it's going to be, it's going to go into the top of the wing joint. It has this small little air hole on it, and that should line up with this key that's on top called the whisper key. So I'm going to slightly twist this in and make sure that when it's turned, if the whisper key closed, it would be closing that air hole. The last piece, of course, is the reed, which I have been soaking. I'll suck the water out and that will go onto the vocal and push it on as far as it'll go and that's how you assemble the bassoon.